scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on course at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. The devil can easily manipulate us and the reason is because the Holy Spirit is invisible to the optical eyes. If the Holy Spirit were a physical spirit, it will be very difficult for us to be in error. When Jesus walked upon the earth, there were many pseudo Jesuses, but they knew the real Jesus. But now the Holy Spirit operates within the realm of the Spirit. The Bible says, because you do not know him, they do not know him and cannot see him. Remember John 14. It says, but you know him because he is with you and shall be in you so how do you relate with a deity that is invisible how do you confirm if he is the one how do you confirm that a demon spirit has not come to replace his ministry in your life the authority of scripture the accuracy of doctrine becomes our safety guard you can know you are standing in truth when you are consistent with doctrine in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god the same was with god in the beginning the bible declares it says through him were all things made and without him that means outside of his influence was not anything made that was made are we together now so I want you to challenge yourself. In fact, while you are sitting, we are going to pray in one minute and ask the Lord to expand your desire for genuine spiritual growth. To expand your desire to be a seeker of truth. That you will open up your heart and intend that I'm not just going to rig my role around my Christian experience. I intend to grow. My growth will be methodical. My growth will be intentional. I will buy the truth. I will subject myself to learning. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you. Thank you. Now in Acts chapter 1. In Acts chapter 1, the Bible lets us know that the entire discourse of acts chapter one was a capture of the discipleship program that happened when jesus resurrected now look how powerful look at the method that jesus used in raising apostles for three and a half years he spent the time immersing them in the truth of the kingdom beginning from his discourse that we know to be the beatitudes he began to teach them the structure and the way that the kingdom operates contrasting the way that the roman government approached life and then the way that the kingdom approached life and he began to expose them he allowed them to ask him questions and he now began to answer those questions and then when we get to john 14 john 15 john 16 he began to introduce them to this personality are we together now yes he said let not your heart be troubled he starts john 14 he says ye believe in god believe also in me 
that in my father's house there are many mansions he said if it were not so i would have told you he says i go to prepare a place for you and when i go to prepare that place for you i will come down and take you so that where i am there you may be also they didn't understand what he was saying then he now introduced them to this personality but the comforter who is he now he begins to talk to them about another comforter who will come and become an extension of his ministry to them and he told them up front that the world will not appreciate the ministry of that individual that comforter why because they do not see him neither do they know him but he says you know him for he is with you here and he shall be in you he began to teach them when we get to chapter 16 he said i have many things to tell you but ye cannot bear them now how be it when he the spirit of truth is come the bible says he shall guide you into all truth that he shall take of what is of the father and he shall reveal to you he began to introduce them to the ministry of the holy spirit then his passion then his crucifixion then his burial then his resurrection you would think that when jesus resurrected he would spend time enjoying his victory he had no time for that quite honestly as soon as that coronation happened in heaven he returned back quickly and he called them acts chapter 1 to continue the lecture the bible says he taught them the things that pertain to the kingdom for 40 days he sat them down and was concluding the part of his mentorship 10 days after that they would be having an experience acts chapter 1 now they began to discuss with him and he was talking to them about the restoration of israel and they asked him a question they said will you at this time restore the nation of israel he said it is not for you to know the times that the father has put within his care now verse 8 but you shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you and that power when it comes upon you he says it will make you witnesses unto me in jerusalem judea samaria and to the uttermost part of the earth when he admonished them like this he stood right before them and began to levitate into the heavens then the bible says for 10 days they were camping in that place that we know to be the upper room now let's read scripture acts chapter 2 verse 1 and when the day of pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord in one place suddenly there was a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting and there appeared unto them cloven tongues as of fire and it sat upon each one of them verse 4 says they were filled with the holy ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance the bible says when you read verse 6 it was noised abroad and multitudes came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language they began to speak in different languages and then 12 says they were all amazed and were in doubt saying to one another what meaneth this 13 others mocking said these men are full of new wine but peter standing up with the eleven lifted up his voice and said unto them ye men of judea and all that dwell in jerusalem be this known unto you and hearken to my words for these are not drunken as ye suppose seeing it is but the third hour of the day and then he says but this is that this is that which was spoken of by prophet joel tonight this scripture will be fulfilled in someone's life in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god listen to me if we are to be effective the bible mandates that we follow them not just follow him there are two levels of followership number one is to follow christ who is the author and the finisher of our faith the bible says looking unto jesus is that true who is the author and the finisher of our faith who was the who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despised the shame so ultimately we follow jesus christ 
but as far as our growth and advancement is concerned the bible says follow them there are always them in every generation them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise and the first them we see that are worthy of our followership are those who are directly mentored by the christ himself the foundational pillars that even heaven recognized their ministry that the new jerusalem was built with 12 foundations with the names of the apostles written there follow them means take note of the pattern that was used for their building and their development and subscribe yourself to that pattern so how did jesus start with them number one he found them a similitude of the new birth and he told them come follow me notice that when you start your journey with jesus christ his first assignment is not to reveal your assignment his first assignment is to reveal himself it is come follow me not follow it if for any reason you find yourself following any other thing including purpose before jesus you are in error the assignment is come follow me not follow destiny not follow a preacher not follow the gift not follow an office come follow me he said and i will make you that is the next level transformation the making so you start by following and then the law of abiding john chapter 15 1 to 8 you must learn to abide followership requires abiding you don't just visit and go to abide means to stay until you are immersed in that body of knowledge that makes for your transformation are we together now jesus spent a major part of his life literally every day mentoring a group of people he broke them into different categories there were things that when he wanted to teach it was only peter james and john that knew there were experiences only those three people had there were experiences only the 12 had there were experiences only the 72 had there were experiences that the crowds had but albeit he was involved in the ministry of building them by exposing them to the truth of god's word and then when that process of transformation was sufficient then came this experience in acts chapter 2. now this was not the first time the heavens were opening and there were all kinds of sounds from heaven we read all through scripture that there had been many instances where the heavens opened and there were sounds coming from heaven are we together now yeah. according to scripture the first biblical record of that opening and sound coming from heaven as far as the fallen man was concerned was the interaction between cain and and god when he killed abel god spoke from heaven and cain had him he said cain what is this that has happened am i my brother's keeper where is abel he said and then his judgment started then when you read what happened to hagar and the young lad when hagar was dismissed from the house of abraham the bible says she dropped ishmael so that he would die without her seeing him die and then god spoke from heaven and he made an oasis there and rescued ishmael sent her back to the house of abraham and you continue to see the heavens open and several communications happening then the bible gets to jesus and it says that at age 30 he went to john the prophet who was baptizing and when he was dipped in water the bible records that the heavens opened twice the bible records this one at his baptism the second at his transfiguration is that true then there was a voice the bible says the holy spirit came in the similitude of a dove and rested upon him and a voice thundered from that heaven and said this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased do you know what that means in other words this man has set a model that has brought satisfaction for me if you ever want to be to bring joy to me this is the reference this is my beloved son 
in whom i am well pleased he said i have accredited him by reason of his compliance to spiritual patterns so hear ye him hear ye him does not just mean listen it means emulate follow his formula and you will bring joy to my heart jesus was driven to the wilderness what is the formula that jesus followed i will tell you he was born a type of the new birth the next thing that happened was he immersed himself to transformation from age 12 he was at the temple god was watching learning under the scribes and the pharisees for 18 years we do not know what really happened to him by age 30 we see that he's full of the word and ready for empowerment listen to me if you want to please the father in your christian experience do not compromise on this formula the new birth experience transformation empowerment that is how to contend for a pattern that will bring glory to the father through your efficiency but many believers here's how we approach it the moment we get born again the next thing we want i'm not talking about empowerment like the holy spirit helping you i mean now to be endued with power for service most people are empty they are not transformed they are not that repentance has not happened and so we contend for transformation we contend for impartation and at the end of it it becomes disaster because the assignment of the anointing is to insist that the word of god you carry does not look like a lie if you do not have any encounter with the word the anointing does not have any ministry in your life the ministry of the anointing starts to the degree to which the word dwells in you are we together now so now jesus followed that pattern birth transformation empowerment service you see now he's training the disciples with that same pattern he called them a similitude of the new birth submitted them to three years three and a half years thereabout of structural mentorship now they had qualified to receive the promise of the father and the bible says jesus told them tarry ye in jerusalem until ye be endued with power listen carefully now the day of pentecost came and the holy spirit the heavens opened attesting to the fact that they had complied with that pattern i have thought that the glory of god always comes to confirm that his patterns have been followed every time you see the manifestation of god's glory god's glory is a signature it is telling men that someone has walked in keeping with his patterns if you see the glory of god in a man's finances it means he has walked in keeping with the principles the patterns if you see the glory of god in a man's life as far as signs and wonders are concerned it means that he has walked in keeping with the patterns you first know the ways before you see the glory moses said show me your ways before he said show me your glory you don't have to pray for his glory the glory is an effect when you follow the patterns you will see the glory of god if you pay attention to what i'm teaching you tonight you will have a very fruitful christian experience your life will be so efficient it will bring joy and glory to the father are we blessed so the holy spirit came upon them and transformed them now who is this holy spirit that jesus talked about so much who is this holy spirit that came upon jesus in the similitude of a dove who is this holy spirit that even the word seemed to be so helpless until he arrived who is this holy spirit that jesus had to warn the disciples to say tarry don't just use zeal to go into the field wait until he arrives and the bible lets us know that he will not come empty that every time he comes he's coming along with a package the name of that package is power say power shout it one more time power is the currency of the realm of the spirit that means if you meet me as a nigerian 
and you ask me for something what I will give you most likely is money is that true if you ask me for a bottle of water I may not sell water but I can bring out a thousand naira and give you is that true we call it in economics the purchasing power I have given you the capacity to have that water if you fly to the US and you meet someone and he wants to bless you he will not bless you with naira he will bless you with the currency within that territory so when you ask God to give you efficiency he sends you the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit brings to you the currency of heaven my goodness my God when he lands with that currency of heaven you can hold that currency of heaven like you see a Nigerian can still hold dollars is that true and look at the excellency the the, the, the whole idea of currencies that one one hundred dollar bill is not the same thing as 100 naira is that true so if I have two hundred dollars and you have two hundred naira we all have money but the challenge that comes before us will show who is holding hard currency and who is holding whatever it is so don't just say you have power uh -uh. listen carefully there is the power that comes from heaven when the holy spirit comes the bible says he will not come empty you shall receive power you shall receive power man of god you shall receive power businessman you shall receive power the same way if you are broke physically on earth like we know you are not evil but you will be incapacitated there are things you cannot do listen to me when you submit a cv to get a job is it really the job you love most times it's not the job the job is simply a channel is that true you respect the job and you respect the owner of that job because without the job and the owner there is no possibility of a salary is that true so for for a salary to come you need a relationship with that man and the job you cannot bypass the holy ghost and stretch to obtain power uh -uh. the protocol was so designed that when you come you meet him first please listen believers because we're about to pray now you shall receive power that sound from heaven was not just a sound of wind uh -uh. it was the holy ghost coming he said you shall receive power power to do what i ask you money to do what if you want to buy a house what do you use if you want to pay medical bills what do you use if you want to pay school fees what do you use is that true if you want to travel and pay your air ticket what do you use if there's all kinds of family quarrel over money and you want to settle it what do you use so if I give you money what did I really give you I gave you more than an airfare I gave you peace in it I gave you capacity for advancement are we together now now watch this if you have money and you only use it for medical bills you are shortchanging the potentials of that money because the same money that you use to pay bills is the same money that can buy you a house is the same money that can send your children to good schools so when he says you shall receive power he didn't mean you shall receive something that will be used only when you are a preacher uh -uh. i am giving you an advantage that lifts you beyond the realm of the ordinary man please believe what i'm telling you you will be ineffective if you reject the revelation of this sound from heaven most believers have run away from the power of the holy spirit and you ask them why they will say i'm not a preacher i don't need it i am not a prophet i don't need it i am not an apostle i don't need it but you give anybody money at the gate 
he will not say I'm not a worker he will not say I'm a female he will not say I'm a male the moment you bring out money they will collect it because they know that it can serve every purpose listen when you stand in a restaurant or you stand in a mall to shop the goods you are picking will not ask you how old you are the goods you are picking will not ask you what is your gender the goods you are picking will not ask you your background there is only one requirement do you have the purchasing power if that television is 500,000 or 1.5 million if you can drop the money there you will pick it and the television will not refuse to go it will follow you that means there is a gift that God can give you beyond your background beyond your gender beyond the limitations of your family first the Holy Spirit and with the Holy Spirit power I believe this I study the fathers of faith from history and even the ones who are alive today none of them none of them rejected this gift he said you shall receive that means you can reject it many of us have rejected it but tonight God is giving you an opportunity again to receive power power to heal power to deliver power to transform power to turn things around power to rise beyond the grip and the limitations of 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 the vicissitudes of life power against the forces of darkness that sit upon the destinies of people listen to me there are people like i said in the morning great voices that should be heard across the globe but there are forces sitting on people's destiny and many of us are wishing that one day something would happen and jesus knew he said tarry now you have tarried again and he's coming to you saying i brought this in 2009 you rejected it now you see what it has cost your ministry i brought it in 2015 you rejected it look what it has cost your family if that power were not there or if that power were there you probably would not be at this level now he has come to you again in this conference and some of you i will not be surprised if you are here and you will reject him reject the holy ghost reject his power and he will back up in peace and allow you recycle pain again in ministry recycle pain again in destiny watch the devil destroy your family again watch your life go through circles of pain giving all kinds of explanations whereas there is power available for you how many of you have been stranded financially especially when you wanted to buy something and then you got to a season in your life where you came into more than enough and you went back to the same thing you know that that dominion joy of being able to purchase what frustrated you yesterday that's what god wants to do for you today that by the time you return from this conference the powers that refuse to give way you go back from this conference and you say in the name of jesus christ i didn't come empty peter had been passing the gate beautiful i am sure the blind man he may not know them but they knew him they knew his condition and i'm sure peter will say i wish i had the power i wish i had the power i wish i had the power and jesus said carry something is about to come upon you the next time he was going to pray when he saw that man he said no yesterday's limitation cannot be tomorrow's limitation silver and gold i may not have but such as i have i received something when the holy ghost came such as i have such as i have Hear what Peter was saying. I know what I don't have, but I know what I have. I know what I don't have, the privilege of a superior background, but I know what I have, the power to fit all that background. I know what I don't have, the privilege to be raised by responsible fathers and mothers, you may say, but now I know what I have, power. Listen to me. Please listen. When God was calling me into ministry, I prayed and I said, Lord, 
I have watched people do ministry without the power of the Holy Spirit. I have watched people give explanations and got frustrated. I have watched people destroy ministries like being dropped in the den of lions. And I said, Lord, I do not want the kind of ministry where I will watch the sick and give them explanations and have them go back like that. I don't want the kind of ministry where I will pray and speak over people. They will shout amen with all their hearts and return with no testimonies. How will I can't live with my conscience judging me every day that this the problem is not their believing. They had faith enough to come for your meeting. When a patient meets a doctor, he has done his own part. The remaining now is the doctor. Hear me, Abel Kuta. There are many of you who have done well as far as submitting yourself to doctrine and truth. But can I tell you, the way you want to go about your life and destiny without power, I guarantee you, you will be frustrated. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. There are demonic forces that will not allow you rise to become an expression of what Jesus wants. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy ways. It is through the greatness of thy power. The, the greatness of thy power. Not your explanation. Not your stories. The greatness of your power. Man of God. The gates of ministry will not open just because you are sincere. You need power. There are gates that will not let you rise. There are gates that will not let sinners come to be saved. listen he said i desire to come to you even i paul once and again but satan hindered us just help those under the anointing listen to me brothers and sisters hear me please look up i have been oppressed by demon spirits this man talking to you i'm not just telling you what i read in a book i know the kind of background i came from nothing rises to a global scale no i started ministry as a man of god and i was still being oppressed by demon spirits most people would not be honest to admit this and tell you i was not an evil person yet these spirits will come and oppress me i will shout in the name of jesus like i was taught and they didn't go and because of the prophetic i will see them it's not like they're just pressing me i'm seeing this spirit and i'm saying the bible says i give you power where is it now listen someone has to get angry in this place this night and say enough is enough i'm not going to let things continue to be powerless christianity resultless christianity i keep giving all kinds of trust explanation no sir hear me hear me your bible is full of the story of men who knew how to receive power and knew how to operate it there was a man who lived like a god called elisha one time naaman the bible says the captain of the syrian army a valiant man in war but he was leprous and a little slave girl who served his wife she said oh there is a man that i can recommend for you if you have the humility of meeting that man listen to me they now wrote a letter to the king and the king said you see this trouble these people are just looking for an occasion for war when elisha had it he said where is the man send him and let him know there is a prophet in israel ah. i was told one time there was a time that they brought someone with a twisted face to archbishop idahosa of blessed memory do you know what he did he told the man look up and the man looked up he said god this man was created in your image if this is how you look leave him like that
we need to repent as a generation this bragging we brag about power we've not seen anything those we call miracle workers in our generation were ushers in the bible in fact they were in the welfare department you see the requirement to be a worker in welfare in the bible you you needed to have revelation equal to a man of god to serve tables listen to me i know that power has been abused i know that there are people who have merchandised it but can i tell you abel kuta please hear me if it is the move of god you want to see if it is revival you want to see if he's bringing this territory under the influence of the christ let me tell you this our explanations and stories the world will soon become tired of us they are already becoming tired of us that's why our children now are not interested in the things of god they prefer technology they will be in church and they are browsing you call jesus is as if you call satan for them we need power we need power Mena salakato sada bragati gate balata Shanada balakata Skada kate barakate kotos Skada brante gabaros katika lakataba A Christianity with results A Christianity with genuine proofs That in one day You can bring glory to Jesus In one day You can bring glory to Jesus Listen to me hear me please i want you to be patient tonight i don't intend to keep us here for long but i want you to be patient because that sound from heaven will echo in this place again one more time one more time i can't guarantee that everybody will catch that fire but i know there must be someone here tonight someone tired of explanations without results me please look at me can i tell you this if we reject the ministry of the holy spirit and we reject the power that he's brought to us i was watching a video of one of the last standing old yoruba fathers who was part of the move of a particular denomination he was talking in yoruba and tears were coming out of my eyes I said god what happened to us what where did we miss it how did we backslide is it beyond recovery my goodness i was reading about a dear people that i know very much charles and francis hunter sir in one meeting they raised 100 people from the wheelchair 100 if one person stands up from the wheelchair now I can brag and make noise as if I brought heaven down and took it back up. This 100 in a service. One hundred. Some of the fathers that God raised even from your region. These were men that were like herbalists. As soon as you enter their house before you sit down you are already shaking the kind of power that came upon them they can speak to you in Yoruba and open your heavens they were not revealing what will happen they were making it happen can I tell you the truth with all due respect and honor to our fathers remember that our fathers were their students so to tell you the kind of students they trained There were things that were written in this bible they were not parables they were not parables man of god do you know what will happen to your church in all honesty when you truly receive power that you declare over your members and in one night 
a family with nine barren women that their wombs have refused to open because of witchcraft opens like a door where will you hide that testimony that a popular madman on your street like the madman in Gadara now becomes healed and on Sunday he's dressed in suit not stage managed miracles that one day someone passes a mortuary on his way to go and pray and suddenly starts hearing a shout from inside the mortuary I'm not dead oh open that door and the newspaper comes to capture it oh God where are you coming from he says from heaven somebody on earth refused to allow me go they held me and brought me back except we don't believe in this Bible I came tonight with a cry to tell you there is more oh dear prayer warrior there is more it's good to pray but let your prayer produce results dear preacher there is more I don't mean to insult or challenge or you know negatively communicate anything but are you aware of the way we beg members why didn't you come to church I am not in the mood okay am I doing something wrong can you where, where did you find that in the Bible I'm not saying to not treat people well don't get me wrong in the days of the generals a service will be starting 6 p.m. in the morning by 2 o'clock or 12 there are already people queuing because they knew that if you saw those men it was like you saw God but let me tell you this before we begin to, we begin to pray almost every one of these men they died with a prophecy that there is coming a move of the spirit they died with a prophecy they said everything we saw can I tell you I've had the privilege to meet a few people who met these generals and my question to them is please tell me what did they tell you and almost every one of them will tell you that they left with a prophecy that that hand of God is coming again there are worshipers that are going to arise in power there are men of God that you we have not seen the apostolic and the prophetic you wait and see the breed of of those God is working on Abel Kuta hear me do not elude yourself from this move in the next two minutes I like you to forget about who is at your left or right I like you to cry before God and say power from heaven fall upon my destiny power from heaven upon my destiny man in 
enough of explanations for everyone that asked receive it pray right to the back pray mantles of men like Pa Elton where are the mantles of men like Apostle Babalola where are the mantles where are the mantles where are more minute of travail as a communication of your hunger and your desperation fire 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 fall on me Fire, 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 fire fall on me. Just like the day of Pentecost, fire fall on me. One more time from the depth of your heart. Fire, fire, fire. Fire fall on me. Fire, fire, fire. Shada gada baka tapa skade gata. Gada gata 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 gata. You're about to receive something that will change your life forever. This is the place of encounter. What you want? Ah. This is the place of surrender. Do to me what you want. Ah. This is the place where my life is changed. Do to me what you want. Hey, na, 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 na. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now please hear me. I want to begin to pray for you. The first thing we're starting with tonight is a real impartation. Listen, believe me when I tell you you need the power of the Holy Spirit. Don't assume you have it. If it is not there, it is not there. There are ministries, there are individuals that are in desperate need for the power of the Holy Spirit. There is no need to sit down wishing for something that can be yours. For this promise is for you and for your children, as many as are afar off, even as many as the Lord will call. Hallelujah. Now, please hear me. 
I want to pray right now. I want you to hold those, all those who begin to run by the Spirit. Just bring them out here gently. There is a very mighty impartation that is coming on you right now. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God, here in this treasured land of Abel Kuta, standing from here and speaking to the nations, there are men and women you are calling, even at this time, to give them strange experiences of impartation. Right now, even as you have revealed to me, I stretch my hands from the front to the back, the left to the right. As many of these people right now, please, whether you are an usher or not, just bring them out, those under the anointing. At the count of three, that fire is coming upon someone is an ignition of the spirit are you ready one two three take that fire take that fire take that fire take that fire there is a specific kind of impartation that god is doing with this fire Here for you, come and do what you do. We are here for you, come and do what you do. Set our hearts, Shanandes Kalika Bashalakata. Now hear me, please hear me, over the last three months, the Holy Spirit has been speaking to me about a restoration of the healing ministry. The Lord began to speak to me that we have really lost the healing ministry. There are people who heal, but there are few people who have really gotten this healing mantle. I believe that there will be a distribution of such graces here wherever you are i want to pray father there are men and women who must carry help that lady please help this lady must carry this mantle of healing at the count of three i want you to shout jesus not everyone but there are people who must carry this mantle are you ready now one two three shout jesus take that fire Take that fire, take that fire, take that fire, take that fire, take that fire. Ye shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Help that woman please, help that woman. Mantles are falling here tonight. Anointings are falling here tonight. Graces are falling here tonight. For the kings to arise, for revival to return. For the kings to be born, for revival to return. Yeah. Ali Ali O oh, Ali O oh, oh, oh. Ali Ali O oh, O oh, oh, oh. Ali Ali O oh, Ali O oh, oh. Ali Ali O oh, O oh, O oh. Hallelujah. Now we are still praying. Please, I want you to give me give me a mic. Hold on, please. I want to do something prophetic here. I'm going to invite Minister Dunsin to come up and just any song in his spirit. I believe there will be a transference of mantles. Hear me? There are prophetic psalmists that will need to arise. 
not not just composing what does not edify please listen to me some of you have been called into the ministry of prophetic psalmistry but for a long time you are in hiding like Gideon a sofa is about to come from the realm of the spirit and hear me please as the man of God raises this song some of you songs young and old will begin to rise from within your spirit man yes sir please spirit of the sovereign lord shaka taka 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 come and make your presence now reveal the glory of the living god oh the mantle of samistry shaka taka 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 come and make your presence now reveal the glory of the living god If you have seen any kind of oppression in your life and your family I want to pray the man of God is still going to worship listen to me I want to pray right now here it's already filled up so you may not need to bring them out just help them there but I want to declare fire is falling from heaven there are men and women here who have been under all kinds of oppression the Bible says for this purpose was the son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the evil ones now hear me at the count of three I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus and if God be God everything that has refused to give way for the king of glory to come in he must give way right now and the power of God will come upon you that fire will frustrate the counsel of darkness i want you to shout from the depth of your heart that name that is above all names are you ready now father i decree and declare that everyone here who is oppressed 
everyone and every family every business and every ministry we come in the name of the Lord God of heaven and we decree and declare as we shout that name let every mountain let every other name let every enchantment let every activity of wizardry let every activity of stargazers let it come to an end are you ready now one two three shout jesus i command every foul spirit go now go now go now release Hallelujah. Who is Israel? Oh dear, we don't have time. Who is Israel? You are wearing a black t-shirt. Israel. Israel, you are wearing a black t-shirt. This is what I'm seeing. Is there someone like that? Israel, you are wearing a black t-shirt. What I'm seeing is a gentleman with a black t-shirt. Us. Israel. What's your name? Huh? Please help us with another mic. Sound people. Israel, Israel. Israel, from where? Abiyakuta. God wants to change the life of your family, my friend. I don't know you, but I, you believe in the power of the prophetic. Sir. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Deborah, who is Deborah? My God, my spirit is fired up this night. Vivian, I'm hearing the name Vivian. Who is Vivian? Deborah, I'm hearing a name Vivian. Vivian, you are wearing a t-shirt, black and white. Vivian, black and white t-shirt. A lady. Vivian. Realigning everything. Please don't come out at random. I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you right now. As soon as that comes, I'll pray for you. This is what I just saw. In the name of Jesus, everything that represents the workings of darkness. There is a woman here. You have, you have trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I'm seeing four years. Where are you? Four years, no child. Come and receive your miracle now. Four years, no child. Make sure you are married. Four years, no child. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare the power of God is coming on one of you here. Right now, in the name that is above all names, may that fire fall right now. In the name of Jesus. Please don't come out at random. Let's, let's maintain some level of order. We have a few minutes and I'm done. Come. What's your name? hold on please i want to pray for you four years no child i know many of you it's not four years obedience is better than sacrifice i will still pray for you four years you four years too four years four years what's your name is the mic working victoria what's your name huh Is it Oye Tunde? Who is that? What's your name? Do you know her? Is your husband here? Where is he? I'm seeing two of you standing and the Lord is saying I should pray even for his finances. Where is he? Oga, can you run and come? God wants to visit you. Don't be embarrassed. This is a family of faith. Please come and stand here, sir. You see why it's good to invite people to the house of God is not for showmanship 
please hold your wife i want to pray for you four years you believe in the power of jesus you will never forget this conference for the rest of your life i'm going to pray for you but in the name of jesus oyetunde also that's your name my dear what's the name okay right now i stretch my hands and i decree and declare standing in faith with every vessel here Shanice Kali Brandagata. Madam, I'm seeing something come out of your stomach, eh? Out now! The name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, according to the time of life, help her. I decree and declare, return with your child. God is giving you a baby girl. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. And sir, the Lord instructed me to pray over your finances. I decree and declare, let things shift for you right now. For all of you who are out here trusting God for the fruit of the womb, in the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming on one of you. Afterwards, I'll just speak over you. This is what God is revealing to me. All those who are standing right now, there's such an anointing coming on one of you. We have to hurry up and walk with time. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the spirit that is back of this, it must go now. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm seeing fire just coming on you. The Lord is burning everything that is responsible for this helper place this season of barrenness i decree and declare to you according to the time of life weep not for the book is opened in the name of jesus christ boyega who is boyega i'm hearing a name boyega is there someone like that boyega what's your name sir you are a preacher can i pray for you sir i hope you're not embarrassed please come things are about to shift in your ministry you see we are product of god's mercy and grace there is absolutely no reason to pride and glory except in the name of the lord when you see these kinds of things happen it is more than a man being anointed is jesus revealed he's been revealed in the midst of his people i interject to say this because usually in the presence of mighty manifestations like this it is easy to exalt the man more than jesus thank god for the honor that comes with priesthood but can i tell you there is only one who deserves every glory and every lifting here and we must not be ashamed to let the nations know that we were taught well let the nations know that he's built us well our assignment is to see him lifted and he said that if i be lifted up from the earth you see if i be lifted up from the earth jane i'm hearing a name jane jane oh that's that's really the song shining in the light of your glory Pour out your power and love as we sing. Holy, holy, holy. So I want to pray for you because you have come out in honor to the word of the Lord. Transference is a privilege, it's an election of grace. I assure you, there is a man of God right now, I don't know where you are. But there is such a mighty anointing coming on you you are a man of god in ministry already a man of god right now there is such an anointing and the lord is telling me that it's a twin combination of the teaching ministry and the prophetic that mantle help him please father please hold my hand sir in the name of jesus christ so by the privilege of this election of grace i decree and declare according to the word of the lord step into a new season of power with god in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ my friend come your life is about to change i don't know you but let me tell you this the Lord himself is about to take you to a dimension in the prophetic and the apostolic is starting as a, like a prayer ministry but is a real apostolic and prophetic ministry 
God is training you and God is building you and listen to me there is one secret that has kept you humility maintain it maintain it no matter how God lifts you let me use this as an encouragement to many people no matter how far God lifts you the moment pride begins to come fight it like you fight Satan don't ever allow any result make you fight those who God used to help you whether you like them or not whether you believe in them or not whether you think you are more anointed than them or not in your humility is your immunity I don't know this man I don't pray for people carelessly I fear God but I want to pray for you he's a ministry sir here in huh? oh I see really my brother you are going to carry very ancient mantles fathers that have died you write what I'm telling you have you read about Parkin Diomi have you read about that man huh? I like you if you can go and read his material read it and pray there is something from that lineage that is needed in your destiny go and write what I'm saying just believe what I'm telling you in the name of Jesus Christ by the election of grace I release you step into a new season power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ a new season may your eyes be open may your hands be taught to war in the name of Jesus Christ why are you here we have to pray for the sick Deborah hold hold them one of you will start running now the power of God will come on you these things are supernatural just please be sensitive don't mind me let me just do my crazy thing here we'll soon we'll soon be done I don't know why God does this thing one of you literally the power of God is a is, is, is victory over delay that's what is happening it's not like you are running intentionally the part is an anointing that will come upon you and it will just be like you are running like Elijah just run mr. man you are not Jane now Jane is a female name what is he doing here huh okay don't well I can't I'm just going to pray for you one of you will start running now by the spirit in the name of Jesus father that mantle and that grace that makes even for restoration victory over delay may that grace be administered right now by the power of the Holy Spirit and let this be a new season even by the Spirit of God that everything that represents the operation of delay we crush it now by the Spirit of the Living God my friend lift your hands this man with monkey jacket in the name of Jesus I just saw oil coming on your head right now take that grace right now in the name of Jesus Christ that anointing will come on you you will never be the same again I don't know who this man is but God is going to use you mightily you are drinking of a very very ancient wine in the name of Jesus may God shift you to new levels in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke that spirit this lady look at me my dear I command that spirit to leave now it must let you go and release your family by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of Jesus Christ let me just pray for the sick we may not have time for testimonies tonight unfortunately because we have to respect our time I'm going to pray for the sick and I'll do the final impartation one day God is going to grant us grace somewhere where God will grant us grace to do a vigil one day and we'll have the time to really take the time to minister minister greatly to people mr dusin the lord is speaking to me about i don't I, I of course i know your team but this lady the lord is saying i should tell you you are entering your season of reward this this lady that you are entering your season of reward i believe that what he says to one he says to all but in the name of jesus that's why I, I i i just informed him before praying i'm praying for you i don't know what is that reward that you must step into in this season honestly i release you by the prophetic 
and I declare step into it and by extension I pray for your colleagues that you will step into the same grace in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there is a lady from this city who is going to rise as a worshiper listen to what I'm saying write it down there is a lady that God is working on you see what God is doing with you know some of the ladies the women that God is using in this nation and across people don't just rise like that there is a way God lifts people hear what I'm saying from this city it will be as if she just came out from nowhere all of a sudden every church will be interested in inviting her people will want to hear her songs it is just one song one that God is going to bring and that is what is going to announce that lady Lord as you have revealed to me whether she's here or not Oh God of heaven I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit visit that lady and I pray like you did Mary launch her into this new season where she will sing your praises to the nations and like minister do sing minister hear me everyone here who has desired to walk in prophetic psalmistry there is a difference between just ministering and singing and prophetic psalmistry that was the reason why i requested him to come and stand here i have seen what god has done in his life in prophetic psalmistry and in the name of jesus i pray for you you don't have to bring them out when they are under the anointing lord wherever you are at least seven people who must carry this grace for worship in a definite way wherever you are i stretch my hand as he's stretching his hand may that grace right now receive that grace right now take that grace right now take that grace right now some of you the angel of the lord will wake you in the night oh i tell you this and give you songs from heaven songs that you will write they will become ladders that will lead the nations to worship in the name of jesus christ now please hear me if you are trusting god for a miracle in your body I have a few minutes to be here just lay your hands right now as we worship in your presence there is healing Lay your hands there. It's flowing. I want you to agree with me as I pray for you. Listen to me. Help them, please. The healing power of Jesus is touching people. I truly believe in the healing ministry. I believe that Jesus heals. I believe that miracles are not a manipulation. There are genuine miracles. And right now, just breathe your name upon me. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Ah, Shalena Sabaruziata. Your hair will hate your name, breathe, Lord. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. One more time, and I'll pray for you right now. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. His name is powerful. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. His name is mighty, able to save, your able to heal. Is your name. Breathe, Lord. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Now, as
agree with me in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit that is back of any infirmity plaguing your life and plaguing your body according to the integrity of scripture the Bible declares that by his stripes we were healed please help them help those under the anointing my God such a move of the healing power help that gentleman be healed now be healed now every eye condition be healed in the name of Jesus every bone condition hear the word of the Lord be healed in the name of Jesus heart palpitations be healed right now in the name of Jesus I'm hearing the name gastritis in the name of Jesus be healed right now any terminal disease HIV cancer we cost you in the name of Jesus Christ there is someone you have a swelling around the side of your your cheek it, it, it looks like mom's but it stayed there for unnecessarily long the power of God is touching you right now be healed in the name of Jesus It looks like muzzle pool but it has remained there almost as if you cannot stand for long your kneecap shakes by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be healing for you right now now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I declare life and healing now perfection and wholeness now in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray finally let me make an altar call I have to make an altar call can, can you give me a minute for an altar call now when I make the altar call and then we'll pray finally and we're done there's no need cajoling listen to me Jesus is truly the way the truth and life this is not just a Christian talk it is true you are here and you are saying apostle I truly need Jesus I came for this believers conference do not end tonight's meeting without giving me an opportunity please we are still standing or those who are saying apostle I remember giving my life to Jesus but as it is my life has gone haywire if you belong to any of that group wherever you are please I like you to run like there's fire in the mountain to the front here I'm going to count five after five that will be all do not wait for anyone be the first to come one celebrate them as they come young and old together two don't allow anybody sit down or stop you from coming when you know you should come to Jesus come 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 run to Jesus two Abelkuta, is this how you celebrate salvation Jesus is bringing many to him come please allow those who need to come to come if they are coming for salvation please let them come four Apostle, I want to come, but I'm ashamed. There's no need to be ashamed. Run to Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, listen. All of you who are in front, 
on behalf of Jesus who is the head of the church I salute and I celebrate you for making this conscious decision coming to Jesus can I tell you this someday very soon this life will fold like a curtain and it will be the beginning of another season I know this is a message that is not very popular again but let me say it one more time Jesus is coming soon believe me when I tell you this sooner than the first time you heard this sentence Jesus is coming one glorious morning you will get up trying to go to your place of work I would get up trying to run and take a flight and go for administration only that will find out there may not be need for it again his majesty coming in the brightness of the cloud we will see him as he is whether we believe him or not that day we will see him and the bible says the dead in christ will arise first and we who are alive and remain we will be caught up in the air and there will be that glorious exit we will sing your songs minister dunsin while we ascend we will sing those songs of victory the triumphant ones and wave the earth and his pride one more time and can i tell you this it is a risk to not know jesus this is not planting fear it is the truth we will join the cloud of witnesses what a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus, I'll sing and shout the victory. Lift your right hand high to heaven. I want you to say this loud and clear. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Shout it, say, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I believe that you died for me I believe that you rose again for my justification according to the authority of scripture I declare that I am a child of God a recipient of the life of God I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I reign in life the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight until forever I am a child of God amen father in the name of Jesus I stretch my hand toward these ones and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit your sins are forgiven based on the authority of Scripture and I declare that you are recipients of eternal life, even the life of God. From today, the power to live a victorious Christian life, let it be released upon you. You go forward ever and backward never in Jesus' name. Now, please, all of you, there is the counselors are waving the placard. Please, can we celebrate them, all of you, as you move to my right? Everyone, please. Let's celebrate them. We're almost on. We are going to see the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to see the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me encourage you finally. Please listen, Abel Kuta. Do not allow anything stop your pursuit of Jesus Christ. Let it not be that after a conference like this, you will enjoy the moment for a few days only to return back to the way things were. It is my encouragement and I led my voice with Pastor Shola, all the organizers and every servant of God, the fathers of the faith that are in this land to encourage you. Let it be from the depth of your heart that any time we meet again, we will find you. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes. 
and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.